Riverside Chevrolet is also making news for some consumer issues. Now, here's the deal. When you trade in your car and you negotiate the trade-in price, you probably just assume that the dealership will pay off your loan. But the Better Business Bureau has actually issued a warning on the business for repeatedly not sending in payments. Our Julia Janae is on your side tonight trying to get some answers for us. So, Julia, tell us who's at risk here. Well, really, anyone can be at risk who is buying a new car. You go in, you finance and sign for your new car trade in your old vehicle and even though the contract says that you're supposed to get it paid off there are people like Bert Buckman who tell me months later they are still getting calls to pay up I said wow Bert Buckman says he loves his new ride forward drive you slide right on through it he says the 2018 truck was a dream buy bought a nice truck I traded a nice truck in but what he didn't know was that the process would become a nightmare. They start running all those numbers on that computer and you signing your name 200 times, signing your life away. That's the last thing you think about, is they gonna make this payoff? He traded in a 2015 vehicle back in March. They said I had equity in my old truck. Agreeing to make new payments on his new truck. If, if I had to pay on both, I'm paying over 1,500 bucks a month. The problem is? I can't pay for two trucks. He's still technically on the hook for his old vehicle. I was shocked, I thought I was the only one until I saw this uh, thing on the news. So now I'm saying, am I being scammed? So many complaints came in similar to Buckman's The Better Business Bureau issued a warning telling buyers to beware. It was unique in that um, they were consistently not paying off the trade-ins. It had been a long period of time. Shannon um, Nelson with the BBB Northeast month. Florida says lack of response recently from Riverside and yeah. over 26 complaints has earned the Chevrolet dealership an F rating. After you made that trade-in, double check, you know, that the vehicle has been paid off within that time frame. Buckman says the finance manager he purchased with no longer works at Riverside. On Monday, the dealership did not return our multiple calls for a comment or talk to us during multiple trips to their location. I can't warn nobody. There's, there's no way to not get into this situation. They have to do the right thing. Now, we will continue to follow up with the dealership and let you know if they honor the contract with Buckman and pay off his first car. Anthony, Heather, back to you.